So welcome back to Scraping the Plate. I know it's been a while, but we are back at it to cook some delicious Italian comfort food. And especially where it's getting cold out, we should think warm. Yes, right? absolutely. And then like Kayla, we went to multiple places today. She oh took God, me here. Everywhere. I don't know if you've ever seen this place. I've, Italy. Never, I've never been here. Italy mm -hmm. at the Peru. Mm -hmm. Insane. 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 Like we got the stinky cheese. Sage. You know, we got Parmesan. We talked about the Parmesan, how it's aged. Um, so this is aged 12 months. You know, when you get stuff in the store, it's really not aged. It, it has that like just regular color to it. It's pretty even. Yeah. This one you can actually it's see. Mold. Yeah, you can see the mold that's like it, it's been setting for a year in Italy yeah. and getting some good flavor for us. So the Parmesan, I love the smell of fresh Parmesan. And when you cut that open, you'll really see the resilience in, in that. Um, we also got a type of bread. What type of bread yeah. did we get today? We got focaccia bread. <laughs> focaccia bread. All right, so Kayla, let's get to making these meatballs. Yep, what are you good. doing over there while I'm cutting up this parsley? So I am grinding up some salt and some pepper for our meatballs. And way on the other side of you, we have garlic and the focaccia bread. Uh, so okay. I'm gonna be grinding up Salt and the pepper here. And what's great is we use it all fresh stuff. All Whenever fresh. you can use fresh stuff, you definitely want to use it. You don't want to use stuff that's canned or... Because you can really like tell the difference, guys. I mean, like the difference between using fresh food and like boxed up food is you can really... Pay for one for a ride, you know? So I got some parsley over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to chop up some fresh Parmesan that we talked about earlier. That fresh Parmesan there in blocks. And then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna stick it in the processor because we wanna add that actually to the meatballs, inside the meatballs. So not only do we wanna to top it with the Parmesan cheese, we wanna have it part of the ingredient actually in there. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of shallot, which is just a, 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 a fancy onion, um, but it has definitely a different taste to it. We're gonna use this with our Marcella too. So we're gonna have a, a thread that goes through the food where it's gonna be the shallot and the Parmesan, and we use a uh, use a Marcella wine. We reduce that down, flavor the chicken. We gotta take that stuff out. We gotta beat it up a little bit. You know, you're making that that uh, that chicken. I see people when they make it, they don't make it right. They don't pound it out. Like you should definitely pound that chicken out and get it nice and nice and flat. You know. Okay, so when you're making these meatballs, the things you want to do is you don't want to be angry with the meatballs, okay? Because if you crunch them really hard, right, they'll be tough to cut through and they'll be, they'll be rough. You want to just roll them with your palm. So here's mine. So this is something that people don't do. It's a little trick. Roll them with your palm, and that's how you get that nice round shape, and you don't crush the meat all together. You already mixed it. So now it's just like leaving them light, so when you cut into it, it's kind of like fluffy. And then we'll put them in the pan, and then we'll cook them up. So let's continue to make these. When we make meatballs, we tend to make a little bit of meatballs. So we had this, you know, kind of big, you know, bowl here, but we emptied that out. Um, and that's all of our meatballs going right now. We had uh, fresh ground pepper, the fresh ground um, salt, sea salt. And uh, literally when you cook fresh, it makes a huge difference. So whenever you get fresh ingredients, you know, get it. It makes a huge difference. The braising over here is going on behind me. We got two pans going right now. I'm kind of slacking off a little bit. I have to jump on my pan in a second. Kayla's almost done with her pan. She's gonna put it on a cookie sheet and then we're gonna bake it. And when you bake it, we're gonna cook it all the way through, but not, not, not so much as it's all done, but almost there. And then we take it out and we put it in the red sauce. And then when the red sauce is there, that'll actually absorb that flavor too with the meat. So guess what we're gonna do when we make our red sauce? We're gonna use this grease in this pan and the oil that's cooking the meatballs, we're gonna use that grease again. We're gonna repurpose it and we're gonna put it in the sauce, give it a more, more of a vibrant flavor. So let's go for it. All right, so Kayla's back there getting the final steps ready on those meatballs. We're getting ready to push them into the oven. She's got most of them cooked right here. And you can see 
she braised them really well on this one, you know, a really nice braise. And these are going to go into the oven. Yep, you ready to put those ones on there? And then what I'm going to do while she's doing that, we're going to keep that, that, that residual stuff that's in that pan to make our tomato sauce. And tomato sauce, I don't know what type of tomato sauce you guys like, whether it's meat flavored or whatever. Um, the meat is going to come out when I put the meatballs in there. But what I'm going to do is cut up some scallions, a little bit of uh, garlic. So you want a little bit of garlic in there, and you want that real fine. Cut that garlic up. And also basil. Again, we got fresh basil today. So fresh basil, we're going to cut that up. And that's going to make a really great sauce. That's what I like. I like, I like garlic and basil. That's my... That's my bag. And I, a little bit of parsley still on there from the meatballs, which is fine. It's the same type of flavoring as the meatball. We're going to drop that in there too. So we take all that stuff. We take tomatoes. You got these nice vine ripe ones here. Look at this. Vine ripe. A couple of regular tomatoes and a couple of plum tomatoes. We're going to add those together. And then again, we're going to add a little bit of Parmesan to that too. Also, when you make the food at the end, we add the Parmesan too. So that you have Parmesan, Parmesan, Parmesan. Um, depending on how hot you want your sauce. I have a little bit of a pepper here. We're going to go ahead and test this. See how hot it is. I literally could eat the whole pepper. So it's really not that hot. Women do, they don't want seeds in your, in your sauce. But I want a little bit of tang to it. So I'm going to put the jalapeno in there. Some jalapenos you can't do that with. Depends on the Scoville and what they're rated. I can't eat them like I just ate that. But this one's kind of cool. It'll add a little flavor to the pasta sauce. So we'll cut that up and we'll cut the tomatoes up. And we'll add that to the sauce. And then cut. Now, we're going to do some spaghetti meatballs. So we got the pasta that we got from Italy. It's real authentic pasta. Right. And it is, when you look at the pasta, and you look at a good pasta, it's actually going to be white, not yellow. It's going to have a different coloring to it. And once again, we're not going to break our pasta. Break your pasta. No breaking the pasta. Well, you're not a friend of mine. Um, but you'll see where that's not yellow. See how that, that fettuccine is, is almost white. And you can tell how fresh that is. Yeah. So we'll just put that in there. You always make sure you salt your water first. So salt your water. I'm going to put the pasta in there. And then what you do when you get the pasta going, and we went with not being um, the fresh pasta, we're saving that for the, um, for the raviolis. And this just being a regular pasta that you can get at the store. I mean, I do recommend Italy. I think it's a wonderful place, the Peru, um, where you can get good, authentic Italian food. Um, and uh, it, you can see the difference between um, the pastas right away. So we'll put them in there, and then we'll cook that down, and then we're going to stop. We're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, we can actually take now, we can go to our, our chicken marcella, which now we got our marcella sauce reducing over here um, with the mushrooms. we got our meatballs that are done um, and ready for a meal, and we got some biscuits in the oven to go with it as well. Um, so let's jump off onto the uh, chicken marcella. Do the chicken. <laughs> let's get the chicken going. Yeah. All right. Operation and safety of this battery cannot be guaranteed, okay? Yep, hit okay. You good? Uh, and okay doesn't disappear. It's, it's red, it's... Yeah, you're good on this one. You're live. Yeah. make the chicken masala is you're gonna have to prepare some garlic cloves make sure all the, um, the like the shell is it's also looks like this <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, and the parsley mushrooms and what do you call it shallow there you go far <laughs> from the shallot now <laughs> so yeah we're gonna do some shallots in there and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna cook these down the onions the mushrooms the garlic we're gonna cook that in a separate pan 